here at one of my subdivisions about to start by just picking up the trash it's uh not a lot to mow i'm just going to take a thin layer off the top mulch up the leaves down there you know and just uh keep it looking neat that's the cool thing about uh you know doing commercial properties or subdivision properties you got you got work all year round so um basically i'm just sprucing up the place just cleaning up the trash doing a um thin layer of cut off the top and then pretty soon i don't know if you can see the crepe myrtles i'm going to come back and uh cut those so yeah let's get it And this thing is quiet as a church mouse. <laughs> right. And then when you're cutting, when the deck's on the ground, it muffles it even more. Um, wow. So yeah, it's very quiet. It's fired on a blower. Uh, we took the zero turn variant out and just muffled it. You really couldn't hear anything. Um, man, that's a nice machine. You got your three LED lights here. That's your blade indicator. So it'll tell you if your blade's under stress, if you need to back off your throttle. Now, where are you seeing that at? Right here, you see these three green lights. Okay. If the, if the blades become under stress, it'll turn yellow. When it turns red, it means you need to back off of it. Okay. Because it, it's got the three independent motors. So they indicate right there. If like your right blade's under a little bit of stress, you know, to slow down or to just stop for a second, let the blade catch up. They generally won't come on um, until you cut into some, you know, Big grass. Okay. We took it out to a field, kind of do a stress test. We cut stuff out that big. They were pinging them for sure. But, yeah. Um, but it'll just tell you what speed to go at so you're not struggling with the mower. Man, that's awesome. That that also would help with, you know, uh, keeping it maintained a lot exactly. longer so you're not stressing it out as much. Um, it's got planetary gears. It's got tons of torque. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually what this is here. That's your planetary gears in there. Um, it'll hold a 20 degree slope. That's what it's rated for. Okay. Um, with the batteries being low, this one's in the center. It actually has a very good center mass. So, I mean, it holds hills very well. <clears throat> um, it's, it's an auto deck level. So you don't have to worry about that in maintenance because it's an electric lift deck. Um, got no deck belts, it's got three motors, got no engine components. So it's only maintenance on this thing is changing blades or wow. sharpening blades. That's about it. They so, make a twill option for the back. They're coming out with them. I don't know if they have one for this model yet, but I know they've gotten a few for the zero turn models. Okay. Um, so then you'd be flat free. So that's a good thing. Everything's operated off your little screen here. 
So this is the Vanquish model, is this yes, correct? Sir. Okay, so this is the Vanquish model, the stand-on unit. And as you can see, it has an onboard diagnostic system. It's letting you know uh, the percentage of the battery. Right, and it has two different wheel speeds, two different blade speeds. You can change that here. Um, you'll be able to cut grass perfectly fine on the lower option. Okay. Um, if you're cutting that thicker grass, then you might want to cut on that higher RPM for the blades. But they'll, they'll run cut grass completely fine on the lower option. Uh, the wheel speed, if you turn it up on high, um, and you drag race people with it. Wow. And it's got a lot of speed. I think it goes like 0 to like 11 or 13, somewhere in there in like 2 or 3 seconds. Wow, that's pretty fast. Because um, it's electric, it has no lag in right. it, in the input. So the controls are a little touchy to, to begin with. Okay. Um, just because it is electric, it's minimal motion to give you what you need. So that's one thing to be considerate about. Um, there's actually a blower mount. You can get a blower to mount on these. Yeah, I've seen that at oh, yeah. the uh, at the expo. They yeah, had so a it'll mount here so on our attachment. You can actually add a blower. Yeah, so you you charge the machine, or you can hook the blower here, and um, so that's just you know cuts out while your blower man. If you have a blower man. He could be, you know, weedy in there picking up trash. Right. While you're, you know, blowing, you could run down the street here and blow all the grass back. And then, you know, when you get done, you can go in with your blower and do the final. Doing two week. jobs at once. Exactly. Basically. So you can cut some time down on your job. Um, they got all these holes here. They, they just look like they're there to cut out, but these are actually like tie down points. Uh, two more on the back. Okay. It just makes it easier to strap down. It looks like a pretty, pretty strong. Uh, oh yeah, it's construction. Yeah, and, and the decks are. I think they even might be a little bit bigger than our John Deere decks. And John Deere decks are seven gauge steel. Wow. So I mean, they're very robust. Um, yeah, they're pretty strong. And it'll cut from one and a half inches up to five and a half inches. That's, one and a half to five inches. Okay. Padding down there for your feet. Most of them, they'll just be a flat cushion. These have the little side cushions for side of your legs. It's just yeah. a little extra feature. Kind of helps when you turn in and stuff. Exactly. Yep. Um, I see the anti-scout wheels back here. I've never seen that before. It's got anti-scout wheels in the back, guys. That's basically where you're standing at. And so no more with the, the lever lifting your deck. It's all operated here. And yeah, I was gonna ask about that. So yeah, I didn't see a handle where you could raise yeah. and lower your deck. So you just hit this switch. Look at that. You have to raise and lower this deck here. So you can basically set your deck height, then press that button and it'll exactly. automatically. So you can drop your your height. Say you need to go over hump or something, you can just raise it up, drop it right now. Wow. Um, so it's it's full electric. Man, they thought this they thought this machine out, man. I didn't I didn't expect to uh Oh yeah, and, it, and it's a Based company, I'm pretty sure they're they're produced. Um, that's I've seen they're produced in Ohio. It's a father and son that own the company. Okay. So it's it started as a small company, as a family-based company. Mm -hmm. So um, they were produced in the United States. I'm pretty sure they still are. So wow, they're they're, they're nice machines, and like I said, it cuts out maintenance. Right. A lot of people were freaking out about the cost, but if you're cutting commercially, these are perfect for commercial cutters because in three to five years, the mower's paid for itself. Because, I mean, you're of course you have to pay for electricity, but that's still cheaper than gas. Right, um, especially now. But you're cutting out gas, you're cutting out oil changes, because if you're doing it correctly, you're supposed to change the oil every 50, 100 hours. Mm -hmm. So you're cutting out oil changes, deck belts, because I mean, you can get into something and break a deck belt. I've had a gentleman come in, he bought five deck belts in the span of two weeks, because wow. his spindle was messed up. So you're cutting out all of that maintenance, I mean, you're cutting out if you do on average 600 hours on your machine a year you're spending three to five grand in gas not including maintenance okay so you do three to five grand you know three that's fifteen thousand in five years of three grand and that's twenty five thousand in five years it's five grand so, okay okay so now on the flip side in your opinion what do you think uh on this machine has the most maintenance because you know i see i see the electric spindles and everything how how long does uh stuff like this last so this machine it's the only thing you really got to worry about like i said is charging it and the blades um everything else it's got a i think it's a one or two thousand hour warranty mm -hmm. or five years i know that's on the battery um 
and the battery is actually rated to last 10,000 hours before it loses any power. Wow. Um, this mower will fall apart for that battery hits 10,000 hours. I mean, it, it's not going to, I haven't seen a mower with 10,000 hours on it. Right. So <laughs> you've been done traded it in for a newer model or something before that thing ever goes out. Um, that's the people's biggest concern on this is mm -hmm. the battery. Because, of course, it's going to be the most expensive part. Exactly. And for some reason, if something does go bad, um, you can replace just a cell in the battery. You don't have to replace the whole battery pack. But you can replace individual cells. And like I said, the battery's under warranty for a very long time. Okay. Now, um, what's, what's the uh, price for for this specific model right here? What's the base price? This one price? right here... Um, depending on, on the options, because like you have to get a charger with it, mm -hmm. it's around 30 to 35. Like if you want to get the blower and everything, it's going to cost 35. 35? Okay. Which is scary to a lot of people. It's like John Deere's comparison to this would be, you know, around 10 to 12. Yeah. But it all comes down to that long term and maintenance exactly so that's that's the scary part people is the price why would i buy this when i can buy two of the other because right. down the road you're gonna either way you're gonna spend 30 on a machine in five years it's either gonna be on the front end or the back end yep maintenance so, yep so either way you're spending that money it's just whether you want to spend it now or later and i'm i'm fairly sure if you get an electric machine you're gonna get some kind of like tax cut um, mm -hmm. You're going to get contracts that you couldn't have before because right. people are wanting you to go electric. You can get out on the job an hour earlier because you can't even hear this thing running. Right. It uh, it kills the noise ordinance. Exactly. Yep. So people aren't going to be, you know, freaking out because you're out cutting and it's a Saturday. Uh, you know, you can be out here. I mean, it makes minimal noise. All right, yeah. As you can hear, guys, this thing has been running since he pulled it off the trailer. And I'm going to go to the back where you actually hear the motors. And this is what you hear. Fans down there to just keep that battery pack cool. That's oh yeah, those are just the fans. So this thing is just sitting, and as we're talking, you can hear us clearly over this machine. So. Oh yeah, you can whisper and we have a plain Jane conversation. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get into the meat potatoes of this thing. Um, I got a little section down there with some leaves. Um, you want to get to cutting this thing and see what it could do. All right. So uh, it depends. Um, I want to say maybe two and three quarters, maybe three. We'll start three. Okay. So now he's he's got it at three inches. Is what I normally cut this. Up. All right. So let me know when you have the uh, gauge and blade. Uh, gate blades engaged <laughs> so this is how it sounds when the blades are engaged it at a three right now and i'm just being standing behind him because i want to see how clean the line is but we may have to go a little bit lower on that deck
what you look like at two and three quarters. Oh, okay, let's try two, two and a quarter. Okay. Yep. And they make mulch kit options. Um, you can get an accelerator bagger. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. Like where you just got a bag. A cage on the side. Yeah. Yeah, I got one of those for mine. Um, I also wanted to ask, now I've seen on the website that they have side and rear discharge. They do. So is, does this model come with that? This one in particular, I don't know off the top of my head. I know they do for the zero uh, The rival, we actually have a rear discharge in stock. Okay. Um, I just have to see if they make one for this model. Okay. Um, but rear discharge is great for like road time cutting. Yeah, yeah. Um, keeps even even at a house you're not blowing stuff you know in the driveway and rear discharge is a, is a nice way to go yeah um, and so um the, do they do that uh in to uh i don't know the question i'm asking so they do they do that as opposed to having a shoot guard on there like you can a lot of people will get a rear discharge for that um, uh -huh. so they don't have to have that block so you're you're not worrying about more stress on the blade you're just throwing it straight out the back right right um, so i mean a shoot guard is nice because it keeps from blowing that stuff out um it'll also help with mulching okay but if you're just trying to cut grass and not sling it places rear discharge is like yeah and then uh one last question so do you uh do you know if they have um like can you interchange blades like can you do mulching blades you can okay yep so you can have your regular blades mulching blades and i think they make aftermarket blades for this of course they're not going to recommend it they right. want you to buy their blades right right um but i think they do have aftermarket option as well okay so, yeah so um blades you have plenty of accessibility on there um you can also get the, the mulch kit in the bag okay so plenty of options cool and then do they um I'm guessing they have a light option where you could put like maybe some lights because um, like for a lot of uh, they do. yeah so when I, I do a lot of my subdivisions I'm, I'm by some very busy streets where they're doing like 60 65 and I, I just I, I have a green light on my mower just so people can see me you know so I'll have like a LED light um, system and like on the on one of the zero turn models they actually have a beacon light on the rock system okay so they have they have light options um you can get a light option that add on okay so they these things are like barbie dolls they got plenty of accessories yeah i was gonna say it seems like they thought of everything for oh, it. Yeah. i'm, I'm so trying I mean, to think they, of the <laughs> questions they to it when they came up with these okay um, so plenty of options and accessories to meet your needs for various different um people cutting you know if you're cutting roadside or cutting subdivision there's plenty of options okay all right so let's see what you got where are we at two and a quarter two and a quarter so guys you see how low the deck is it's uh now we about to cut you know this grass and uh, see what it does all right have to go to a two inch but so far it looks like it's cutting good can you guys hear that more over me talking yeah it uh it seems to do just like you know the typical mower i see clean cut lines and yeah and i was very surprised like i said we took it to a neighborhood with very similar grass and uh with the zero turn the rival <laughs> Mm. which i thought it was just gonna butcher it because you know it's real tall dead grass but it yeah. actually uh, it took it down quite nice on that one we had to do we did it like three quarters at a time we started with the highest five and a half um, and we kind of worked our way down to a four and a half and then we went down to three okay because um, that's that's what john deere recommends is 
to cut grass quarter at a time yeah to save your machine exactly um, yeah sometimes we learn that the hard way you know right. Right? whenever you get tall grass you gotta you know yeah, cut a cut a layer off then lower it yeah exactly and that's something that'll wear out a deck belt very fast and that's yeah. probably not gonna have here um, okay. especially with these indicator lights i mean it's full proof it's, it's, as long as you're paying attention to your lights and cutting properly you're gonna have zero issues okay cool and so uh all of these come with uh, password protection, like you have to have a certain password yeah, to get so, into the unit, correct? Yes, sir. So if I cut it off here, and once you purchase the machine, they have this passcode you put in to change it. Okay. Um, so you can power them up. Ours is just one, two, three, four. And uh, here, like that's where you change your blade speed, your wheel speed. So you do all of this electronically, yep. like nothing's so manual. When you go wow. there, you put in that code that's where you would change your um your um, password password code okay yes sir so it's got all that and like, oh like right here it shows you what your indicator lights mean it'll tell you to slow down or raise your deck uh, and it, it, okay. it pretty much tells you what you need to do here okay um they make a usb plug-in on these machines for like a phone charger yeah so i mean they they set it up for your phone I mean, it's yeah really, i'm just realizing that it's got a phone char a phone holder and a cup holder right yeah, there so it's, it's very like so they thought this thing they out thought, they thought of the user when when they made these yeah but i mean i'll run down the strip right here you can just see how much power okay now, when you were when you were cutting, did you have that on? Like, what what power did you have that on? Just the low power. The low power. Okay. Um, right now I have I had it on the low wheel speed as well. So I mean, this thing has had a lot of torque. Yeah. So, I mean, it'll throw you off. Yeah. If you're not being careful. Um, right now I have the the wheels on the, the second power, the higher one. Okay. So. Take you off, yeah. So that's why I do. I just run it on the speed. I mean, that's more of your cutting speed. Okay. For the second one is if you're just trying to get back to the truck, or if you are going to the other side, that's why I just want to change your option there. And I see there's like, uh, so normally with a gas powered uh, mower, there's like this handle is raised for like the neutral safety switch. So I don't see that on here. So how does that work? So this machine. It doesn't really have that safety. It's one of the machines all just say when it's running, I mean whenever you hit it, it'll go. Yeah. Um and that's another thing, generally when you stand off of a mower and that safety isn't on it cut off. So right. just when it's in this middle position, that's pretty much it. So like even if the blades are engaged and if the blades are engaged you get off it'll cut off. It'll cut off. Okay. Okay. Um also if these red lights ping for too long, yeah. it'll kick the blades off. To uh, save the motor for a safety reason. Okay. okay. And another thing with this power button, so this little piece here, um, this is kind of like a key fob. You know, like on a boat or like a four wheeler, if you uh, fall off the jet ski and it pulls that little key out and cuts it off, you can actually take this out and it'll keep this machine from starting, period, even if you have to go. Uh, so okay. say um, you're going out of town or something, you can take this, put it in the house, you can't no one start biting to touch it. Yeah. And uh, there's really no way for someone to move these these things are like extremely heavy because it's got that electronic brake right and you're not you're not pushing this um, so so now uh let's just say for the sake of the argument it breaks down to where it can't move like so uh when i have normally i run two mowers and i bring the second mower with me sometimes just in case one of them breaks down and I could just hook a chain up to it and tow it back to my trailer. Now, how would that work for this? I think on the transmission itself, the electronic here, I think they have a thing you can disable it. You can disable the, the transmission? Okay, okay. Nice. Nice. But they keep all that tucked away. Because, um, I mean, this thing, it's... Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm looking around this thing and I don't see, like, wires hanging. Yeah, so everything's going to be under this shell here so 
that's the that's the that's the brains of the operation. And so that's right why people stress out. Well, what if it rains? What if it rains an electric mower? Everything. So it just rained on it yesterday. Right. Um, no problem. So you're. It's just gonna be like any other mower. You have a weather seal around where the components go. Another thing is you can kick this. That disables the mower. That's like a circuit circuit breaker type thing. Yeah. Shuts it off, but you can't enable the mower. You can't nothing will go until that power is kicked on. Yeah, so you can nice. turn this on, but all that shows is just your screens. It's not going. It's not going to do anything nothing else. Happens. Nice. Nice. So you can kick that off. You can take this out. Ain't no one taking this mower. Wow. Now I tested this one. Uh, I believe it was this one, maybe a 48. Uh, yes, sir. And it's going to be fairly similar to your other mower, control-wise. <laughs> Me and green mowers, yeah. This thing, I like it. I like the big wheels because it gives you that cushion, exactly that comfortable cushion effect. And then the only thing I would get, I would have to get used to, is the controls because it is very touchy, and you have to. It's sometimes it may be like a, a small, like electronical lag, but man, if you if you pull that lever all the way, it's gonna take you, and you feel it. So. If you pull them back, and it, it'll bring the front of the mower. So it, it'll pop a wheelie. I didn't want to do that on that because that's what I normally do with mine. Sometimes like when I have a pile of leaves and I just want to get them. Yeah. So. Another thing I like about these, and I wish John Deere did with theirs, is with this, when you're going to load your machine up, this will actually stay up um, uh, instead of having to hold it up or yeah. bungee cord it. That's just, it stays up. And yeah. I, I wish every mower had that because that just makes makes it's life easier. It's so simple, yeah. but it's such a nuisance when you're having to hold that and try to control the machine or bungee cord or having to drill a hole in a brand new. Exactly. So it's, it's wonderful to just be able to sit that up. Um, I think they make a front suspension kit for your um, front wheels. Okay. Kind of give it that extra cushion. I know they do on the zero turns. Um, man, they just have so many different options. Like on the zero turns, they have a, a root canopy mm -hmm. and a solar charger. Oh, um, wow. And it doesn't add a whole, whole lot of charge. Like if you're cutting like a, you know, a five acre field, it'll add 30 more minutes to your cut. Yeah. Um, wow. And it also doubles as you know, you're not in the sun. So that's, that's pretty neat. Um, but a lot of people are iffy about these, but they, they compete with gas mowers. Um, I was skeptical of it at first, but we took it out and I seen it with my own eyes. I was on it with my, my own feet and they compete. 
And it just sounds like, you know, based on what you're telling me, it seems like they had the operator in mind just as far as, you know, like, oh, yeah. because the main thing with me was I was thinking like, you know, how long can I run this thing if I, for a full day, a Georgia's day where, you know, it doesn't get dark until 830. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How long could I run and, this um, thing? A lot of people, you know, they'll say, well, how long does it run? We'll tell them seven and a half hours. They say, why? Well, I, I cut 10 hours. No, you don't. Right. You might be running 10 hours. Right. But you're driving 30 minutes to the job. You're exactly. blowing, you're edging, you're weedy, and you're not cutting. Seven you're not hours continuously down. cutting. No, I'm sure there's some people like roadside cutters. They get dropped off. They just run. Yeah. But generally, most people, they're not, they're not running 10 hours a day. Because if they were, they wouldn't have 600 hours on their machine at the end of the year. Exactly. <laughs> so and they would be spending a lot more gas. <laughs> exactly. So it's, it's perfect for, I mean, an all-day use, um, which I've actually seen. What I've seen was a person that ran these. They were like a full electric company. They had a, um, a box trailer, and they had the chargers mounted on the wall. And I'll show you the charger. I've got one in the truck. They okay. had the chargers mounted on the wall, and they would plug them into the machines. They had an outlet on the outside of the trailer, so when they got to their shop, they just plug in the trailer and it run power to the machines. So they don't even have to take the unit off. They don't have to take it off, it they just plug it in and automatically wow. charge it. Um, nice. So that's something that's really cool. Because um, the, the chargers have mounts where you can mount them or you can um, just move them. There's three different charger options that deliver different power outputs. So okay. You either have a regular wall plug in, is what I have. Um, they have like plug-ins and like what a washer and dryer would plug into. The more you go up, the more it's going to cut down your charge time. Right. Um, unlike the zero turn options, you can actually double charge them. They have a charger in the back and then they have one in the front. So you oh, put wow. two chargers up to it and that cuts your time in half. Wow. Um, and it's an overnight charge regardless because generally your machine's not going to be all the way done. So it's not gonna take a full, you know, eight, 12 hours. By the time you charge it overnight, it's gonna be back to Ready, yeah. Um, Cause they, they don't really use a lot of power. So that's, that's nice. Yeah. yeah, these things are nice, man, so. I mean, they're robust, right? I mean, they're all. Yeah, they, they, just, they just look like they're solid. Oh, you know, they built tough. They thought of everything, you know, there's, there's nothing that I could say where that might be a flaw or, you know. Like man, it looks like they thought of everything here. And when I say it competes with the with the gas mowers, I mean like zero turns. They have the suspension seats, they have the adjustable seats. They have everything that a gas mower has. They have except the maintenance. Right. Um. The, there's really no con to this machine except just having to pay the upfront cost. Um. But it will pay itself off very fast. Mm. And there's just so many benefits with having you know more and more contracts. Uh, like some properties you won't be able to cut with a gas mower. Yeah, it has it where you can mount it on the wall. Okay. It's got an indicator light. It'll tell you when it's charging and tell you when it's full. And for some reason, if it has an issue where it's not wanting to charge, it has in the book, it'll flash a certain code and it'll tell you what, what that code means. Okay. Um, kind of looks like a big inverter. Yeah, so this is the where you hook it up into the machine. Okay. I mean, you need some thick cables. Yeah. It runs a lot of power through there. Um, so this one, this charger is the smallest one. This one takes around that 12-hour charge. Okay. You start getting into the bigger one, you start to cut that time down. Okay. Um, but this one just has the the regular wall plug-in. Okay, and so like this this would be the one that comes like if you purchase this now, this would be the one that comes with it. Um, any of them will come with it. It's just in the in the package, oh. whichever one you want. So like if you if you wanted to upgrade to the bigger one, I'm guessing that would be a bigger charge, a bigger more price. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Yeah. So pretty much when you go to purchase a mower, you kind of get to pick which one of these you want, and they add that to the price. Gotcha. Okay, makes mm -hmm. sense. There you guys go. See the charger. It's a pretty big, beefy charger. Connection here. And then there's the wall plug. And you said about charge time is about 12 hours. From from 0%, yes from sir. From 0%, so yeah. Nine times out of 10, you probably won't even need it. Right. And so all this running we just did, I think it dropped 1%. Wow. Okay. Um, and it was on 80 when I brought it out here. So it wasn't even a full charge. Right. Um, now when it now when the battery is low, like, what do you think is the lowest you can run it at and so, still be operable? 
it'll have it'll have an indicator mm -hmm. um it'll flash up hey battery's low yeah. it, it won't let you run it completely dead it'll it'll have like a a limp mode to cut the blades off uh, so you can get it back to a trailer safe mode okay mm -hmm. gotcha. um nice. i don't know what when it kicks into limp mode i don't know what the percent is but it'll keep you from killing it out in the field yeah. um but a lot of people question well when the battery gets lower does it have less power it's right. gonna it's gonna be like your cell phone i mean it's gonna you're gonna have full functionability until it's, until it's dead okay. um because nice. uh, the battery charge it just changes but it's gonna run full power it's not gonna get weaker as the battery goes down it's gonna run full power till the end um then it'll tell you hey it doesn't have enough battery to keep going um and <laughs> exactly yeah. so it's it's kind of a i mean it, it could keep cutting but you don't want to kill it out in the field so it'll be like hey this is your chance to go put it up like your phone and say hey you got 20 percent left right so right. i mean it has that indicator so you're not just dead in the water <laughs> and it starts the screen gets darker and right so you know like <clears throat> okay so yeah so that's another like safety feature but no so it doesn't lose power as the battery goes down um it, it i mean it, it performs the entire time until it'll it'll kick the blades off nice. Man, nice. so i mean it'll run clean cut until it won't cut right. and it won't give you a bad cut Oh, yeah uh that's pretty much all the questions i have for you today so, <laughs> all right man i uh i appreciate you coming out and demoing this for hey, us no uh and you are you are at agpro where are you located conyers. out there in conyers right off of uh uh 20 right yes sir okay yeah i think i see you sometimes see your shop when i'm headed to atlanta so yeah so it's, it's right off the interstate it's off um, dogwood drive dogwood West okay West yep I think my buddy, uh, uh, I can't think of his name, Vic from Quick Cuts, he goes over there a lot. So yeah, yeah, that's my guy. So yeah, man, so that was pretty much it. I want to thank you for the demo. Thank you for coming out to, well, to one you. of my locations. He came out to one of my locations and demoed this. And you know, we've been here for what, 45 to an hour? About Somewhere around there. 45 minutes to an hour. And you know, I had a bunch of questions to ask anything that I could think of and um you know he answered them and you know just just going back over this machine it seems like Mean Green pretty much you know they thought of the operator they thought of everything that could possibly go wrong or you know be an issue uh with running these machines as far as you know rainy days you know it seems like it's pretty encased you know there's no wires no nothing being exposed it's a pretty strong uh construction you know the deck's pretty strong uh, and he had it running and you know it runs quiet smooth cut you know just a slick looking machine very eye-catching and you know it comes with a ton of accessories so if you are in the market for one of these please consider it you know Hit up my man Cody yes, sir. over at Ag Pro, and he'll come and get you a demo to see if this is something that you can put in your, uh, you know, your stable. So, all right. And then I want to thank you guys for watching the channel. Richard, we're cutting up where quality gets quantity. Y'all have a good day. I'll see you out there. Peace.